As most of you know, I travel around doing clinics on flight instruction and setup, but this video is a little bit different. We're going to discuss just how to look like a better pilot and to make your flights look a little cleaner and a little more professional. Hi, I'm Michael Wargo, a team pilot with Precision Aerobatics. Today, we're going to extend my series on aerobatics a little bit. And what we're going to do is we're going to focus on looking like a little better pilot than you are. Um, this was actually spawned by watching very good pilots at fields look really bad because they don't fly in a very deliberate and uh, uh, methodical way. They, they just get up and start doing tricks. They're very skilled with the tricks and they're very skilled with the way they uh, uh, can manipulate the airplane, but they just don't look as good as they are. Uh, conversely, if you're a modestly good pilot, but you fly very straight lines and fly very deliberately, you will look like a much better pilot than you actually are. Uh, to me, option number one seems kind of pointless when all you have got to do is straighten out your lines a little bit and be a little bit more deliberate between maneuvers. Uh, today I'm going to show you a little bit of how I do it. What we're going to do today is we're going to fly the XR61 and we're going to cover three different segments. The first is going to be a nice deliberate takeoff sequence. It doesn't matter how simple or how complicated it is. We can take off in a very deliberate manner and that establishes control and confidence immediately on, upon leaving the ground. The second thing we're going to work on is transitioning between maneuvers. That means when you're coming out of a maneuver, instead of just flying off aimlessly, have a plan. So you have the maneuver and you also have your exit. And if you end up flying out uh, upright or inverted or in any deliberate fashion, that's the, really the completion of a maneuver. Uh, if you're in a knife edge spin, I mean, just spinning is not the maneuver. Entering it and exiting it is also part of the maneuver. And we'll demonstrate that a little bit. The final thing is maybe developing a little bit of a routine for yourself. Uh, most of you know that I fly in air shows and RC shows and fly-ins and things and I'm uh, doing demos all the time. Um, what I do most of the time is I don't have a complete routine, but I have segments of my routine already pre-planned. I know I'm going to take off and I've got the thir first 30-45 seconds already planned out in my head. And I think it's a good idea for everybody to at least get that much of a coordinated um, routine together so that at least the first part of your, uh, your flight is that deliberate. So what I would suggest for everybody is to get a, always know how you're going to take off. That one's easy. There's only one step to remember. This is what I'm going to do when I take off. And it might be different for you right and left. You might be more comfortable. Um, and then try and find that way to get back to that first show center cool thing. This is not about being a show. Um, this is about just being a bit more confident, a little more confident, and the, bit, the, the word of the day here is deliberate. The Precision Aerobatics is uh, uh, XR61. This plane flies very straight, you know, so it's a really nice plane to, to do maneuvers like this. So, what we're going to do is we're going to decide how we're going to do a takeoff. Well, what we're first going to try and do is I'm going to demonstrate the fact that even the simplest takeoff can look very professional, really smooth, and it help establish the fact that you are a competent pilot. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off straight and I'm not going to do any rolls. I'm not going to invert it. I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to fly straight out and make a very deliberate turn to the left to bring us back down the runway for the next pass. <laughs> Fly level. Now if you want to do your trick, right at show center. We're going to do a nice little roll. And we're done. At this point we're just going to modify things a little bit. What we're going to do is I'm going to show you how a very nice, deliberate, simple takeoff. Uh, I'm going to roll the plane to inverted. And then Again, as I said, we're going to try and do all the tricks on a straight line down the runway at show center, that type of thing. So what we're going to do is I'm going to fly straight out. I'm going to turn the plane around uh, at a distance. 
and I'm going to come straight back down the runway and this time I'm going to do a knife edge pass down the runway. Lift off, slow roll. Nice and straight, we're going to roll back. Maybe roll back again, we're going to do an immelman and come back around. Now we're going to do a nice slow roll to knife edge. And again, watch these maneuvers, even simple maneuvers like this. This is going to be a loop. But at this point, I'm going to do the loop at show center. Smooth and nice and big. Start in front of us. Nice, big, full loop. And this is executing a loop, not just flipping a loop. We now have to begin our flight and we want something that looks a bit like a routine. Now what I did there is a good way to start any flight. I could start any flight that way. Sometimes I like to complicate them. I may like to make them real fancy or anything like that. Uh, but it's up to your own individual skill sets. You do not have to go outside of your individual skill sets to be able to look really smooth and professional. One of the biggest things is to roll the plane either in nice deliberate uh, quarter turns if you're going to roll from inverted to upright, if you watch uh, most pilots as they're inverted, they flip the plane really quickly to upright. But you can see with what I'm going to do, rolling it back to upright uh, nice and deliberately in two points or a very slow roll uh, back upright looks very deliberate and uh, again, very competent. All right, here we go. We're going to do uh, two point roll uh, takeoff. Two. We're going to fly as straight as we can. We got a lot of wind. We're going to go back upright. Again, just excuse all the wind. The wind is really blowing the plane around quite a bit. We're going to go to inverted, and this time we're going to smoothly roll to our knife edge. I'm going to smoothly roll back. All right, another thing that we want to concern ourselves with is when you watch most pilots when they're up there doing tricks, they'll kind of look like this. They go, okay, they'll turn fast, roll the plane, turn fast again. Nothing looks intentional. What we're going to try and do is, even if we're just going to do a roll, we want to get the plane going, we want to go parallel to the runway, and we want to execute. That looks so much better than doing it any other way. The trick that a lot of people like to do is they like to uh, do an inverted pass. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come across the runway, invert the airplane, but I'm going to do it deliberately. I'm going to roll it. Now if I'm going to come back out of, the, out of it, instead of just flipping it back over, we're going to roll it nice and slow. That looks like it's intentional. The wind is blowing really hard up here, so it's a little difficult for it to look as smooth as I'd like. What we're going to do now is learn a little bit how to transition into 3D. So maybe we can do a nice two-point roll to invert it. And right in the show center, we're going to go up, flip, and now we're going to come down and our Harrier is going to happen right at show center. Now we're obviously doing 3D, and if we're going to come down and hover, we're going to try and manipulate it right in front of us. This as well, uh, I'll show you how to maybe enter a uh, hover. Again, we're going to fly. We're going to fly down the runway. Maybe we can go straight up, flip the airplane, and now come down in that Harrier, where the Harrier is going to look a lot nicer. And again, I'm rotating right around show center. And now when I decide I'm going to enter into that hover, I can enter right into my hover right here at show center. And again, exit is important. And even if you're not that skilled and all you want to do is fly straight up and out. Another really important uh, part of aerobatics is, you know, when I'm flying any type of show, uh, the first thing I do is I have some sort of pre-programmed routine. Uh, I never stick with it. 
Um, I let the situations dictate what I do and how I'm feeling. But for the most part, I do start with somewhat of a routine. Another thing I want to explain is the maneuver itself isn't the whole maneuver. Um, whether you're doing a loop, a roll, a snap roll, uh, any sort of 3D maneuver, uh, there is entry into the maneuver and there's the exit. A maneuver is a complete series of, uh, of moves. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up and I'm going to execute a maneuver, but I'm going to go into it very deliberately and I'm going to come out of it very deliberately. So I'm going to go up and do a bit of a tumbling maneuver or a flat spin or something like that. And even if we're doing something like that, it's got a very deliberate entrance and exit. And again, we're going to do it right here at Show Center. Okay, we're going to enter this maneuver trying to fly very straight down the runway. We are going to go vertical. Do a nice roll up. Up, push over. And execute. Our nice edge spin. We come out, we're going to stop. Fly straight. And out. Even if I'm doing something as, as simple as a stall turn, lines to be straight. We want to fly straight back down and then we want to exit it nice and smooth. These are all very important elements of aerobatic flying. There was much more to aerobatics than flying some cool tricks and learning how to move the sticks. It's a matter of being smooth and deliberate. Good luck.